All right, so let's go over the library toolbar, and in the next video we'll cover the library filters. Now, right now I'm in the grid mode. Um, you can get there by hitting G again. If you don't see the toolbar right now, which we don't right now, I'm going to hit T to activate the toolbar. If you hit T again, it's just going to toggle the toolbar back and forth. It's right here. Okay, so hit T to toggle the toolbar, and on the left side you're going to see the different view modes that we have. Now we've showed you guys a bunch of different ways to switch the view modes, including using shortcuts, um, using the options down in the bottom left in the main window, um, and right clicking, as well as now you have a third way of switching to different view modes by clicking here. Actually this is a fourth way, because I think you can actually access it right here too. So from the view menu you can access different view modes. So that is count them four different ways to change your view mode. So right here we can switch between grid view, loop view, compare view, and survey. Okay, Right next to it, um, you guys should all know what those different view modes are by now. We've covered them several times, so I'm not going to go into that. Right next to it, we have the painter tool. And the painting tool is actually really, really cool. Check this out. We can use the painter tool to paint a bunch of different things, and it works. It's a graphical way of basically syncing information. So right now, I have paint selected, and it says, what do you want to paint? Well, let's say I want to paint keywords. I'm going to say the SLR Lounge tutorials, tutorial files, we'll call it that. Okay, now if I, if I start clicking paint, I'm assigning that keyword to every single file that I'm painting. Okay, it's really cool. I can actually spray, I can actually hold down the key and spray like I would a spray paint can. So now it's assigning it to every one of these images I'm going over. Okay, um, so I can also paint on different things like labels. Like let's say I want to paint on a red label. Okay, well now I'm just going to spray it on all these, and voila, all these turn red. It's actually not that easy to see, so let me turn it to, we'll turn it to purple. So I'm going to spray that on, there we go, now you can see that. Okay, we can spray on ratings, so I'm going to spray on three stars on everything. Or I can cherry pick and just go one image at a time too. It's a really quick and easy way of, of and it's a, it's a cool graphical way too, of kind of assigning and syncing these settings across everything. Okay, so let's turn it off by clicking right here back on the circle. It turns it off. Right now to the left I have a sort direction as well as the sort preset right here. Now I can sort my files based on whatever I want, including from capture time to the added order, the edit time. It's all the same. Uh, it's very intuitive to understand. Um, if I sort it by rating and then I pick the sort order, like right now it's Z to A, so it's uh, sorting from one direction to the other, I can switch the direction around. So this is from high to low and this is from low to high. Okay, um, I can go capture time and it's from A to Z so it's from early to end. Just however you guys want to sort your images you can click here. The other way to sort, again there, there's multiple ways to do everything. If you click in the view menu you can also click sort and you can also choose your sorting options right here as well. Okay, you guys are going to soon understand just how many different ways there are doing the same thing in Lightroom. So once you guys kind of get the gist of Lightroom you're going to pick how you guys kind of like to do everything uh, in your workflow. On the right side of this toolbar, I have the thumbnails. And the thumbnails right here will allow me to control the size of the thumbnails. And again, I can control size of thumbnails by either dragging that slider or I can hit plus or minus. And plus or minus will do the same thing. Now, if you look right to the right of the thumbnails, you have this little arrow, which will add actually additional content to the toolbar. So if I click here and I say flagging, now I can actually add flags by just clicking the toolbar right here. Now, we can also add flags by clicking P, which is probably much easier, but that is another option. You can do the same thing with ratings, with color labels. I can add like as many as I want onto here. And then I can just click, well, I want to remove the, the purple label here. I want to remove the three stars, and it'll do it that way too. Again, we have hotkeys for all this. So once you guys learn the hotkey, that's kind of a moot point. But you can have that functionality in, the t t uh, in this toolbar. Um, and again, the library toolbar, the develop module toolbar, it's all going to be different and specific to the module that you're working in. So these features are for the library toolbar only. When we switch to develop, it's going to change it up. So last thing, we hit T again, and I'm going to toggle the toolbar off, and let's move on to our filters.